What is going on everyone? Peridot here coming back at you with a new series where I document my eBay and Mercari finds. Now if you don't know what Mercari is, um, basically it's an app, it's kind of like a mixture of both OfferUp and eBay where sometimes you can get really really good deals shipped to your house from other places. Uh, I've gotten some really, really good deals on there, uh, basically just by checking the app a couple of times a day and then refreshing as much as possible and hoping I have the quickest fingers and uh, sometimes I'm actually able to snag some really good deals. However, there are other times where I just find uh, things that have been listed for either a couple of hours, a couple of weeks, or maybe even a couple of months and I offer them, uh, I make an offer to them and sometimes they accept. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this new series, uh, but before we get to the Mercari finds, let's start out with these two eBay finds that I have. Now, these aren't going to be unboxing, mainly because I got these uh, a couple months ago, and I didn't really think that I was going to be making an unboxing type of video, uh, so I just opened them up, uh, so... Uh, these are just going to be me showing the games, um, but they're you know, they're really good games for really good prices. Uh, and if you don't know how to get good deals on eBay, go to Price Charting's game eBay Game Sniper. Basically, what it does is it takes listings from games that you specifically ask for for systems that you ask for. Like, say you want GameCube, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo 64. It will just It'll take the eBay listings that uh, are either uh, just that it either just come up or auctions that are ending in a couple of minutes and it takes the listings that are a bit below what they normally go for on eBay and it says, hey, either this auction is ending or this listing just got put up, maybe you're interested in it. And sometimes you can get really good deals on it. Not like garage sale deals. That's that's pretty much impossible to find on eBay, but I did get some really good uh, games for really good prices. Uh, so enough of talking about that, let's move on to the game finds. Uh, they are both Super Nintendo games, and they're both high-end Super Nintendo games. Uh, this first one, very surprised. This was just a $40 Buy It Now listing that had just gone up. Uh, and I was really, really shocked to see that it just gone up. Um, so, really, really happy about it. We got Soul Blazer. Now, Soul Blazer is obviously worth a little bit more than 40 bucks. It goes for like 60, uh, sometimes even 70 bucks. I have no idea why the seller listed this is so cheap. Uh, like, the condition is fine. Uh, he showed board picks in the picture and everything, showed that it worked and saved even. Uh, so I have no idea why it was listed for so little. However, uh, I'm not complaining because this is definitely a really, really good game to add to the collection uh, for such a decent price. Now, this next game was an auction uh, and had been uh, shown as ending in two minutes. So I clicked on it and I saw that the condition of the label was a bit rough, which is why the game uh, wasn't at its normal asking price. Um, so I managed to put an auction or put a bin in and I snagged this game for $49 and that game is Sunset Riders. Really, really happy about this game. Uh, unfortunately, you know, the label is a bit rough. You can see that the front label right here is just torn and up at the top there is some tears right here and here. Uh, but I only paid 48 bucks for this game or 49, I think. $48.50, I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look at the listing again. Uh, but this game regularly goes for $65 to $70. Bucks. Um, and honestly, I don't really mind the condition because I popped this bad boy in my Super Nintendo and I played for hours. This game is super fun, super challenging, and super addicting. So I was really, really happy uh, that I managed to snack this for such a good price. Uh, but that was it for the eBay finds. Um, like I said, you know... It's not garage sale prices, but they're still really good prices for two games I've been wanting to add to the collection for a long time. I was really, really happy about that. Now, let's move on to the Macari finds. Uh, so, I'm going to be doing this a bit differently uh, in terms of unboxing. Uh, I already unpacked everything. However, I filmed myself unpacking them. Uh, so you guys will see everything, uh, like the unboxing process. However, it's sped up. 
um, and it's there's some music over it. Uh, just because I feel like the unboxing process can be a bit boring uh, sometimes. You just want to get straight to the games. So uh, I'll just go ahead and show you guys that unboxing clip right now. Alright, so you guys saw GameCube games. Now there were seven no eighteen total, and you guys saw I paid fifty-four bucks for them all. So three bucks a game. Uh he actually had this bundle listed uh for it was like fifty-eight bucks or something like that for a couple of hours. He said that it'd been untested, which is why it was like pristed priced so cheap and in the description he said hey these games you know they are pretty scratched but there's no deep scratches and they can definitely be resurfaced so I messaged him and I was like Dude, can you just put your fingertip over the game and not feel anything because that's usually the if you put your fingertip over a disc and it's like deep scratches you can tell that sometimes they can't be resurfaced and he said yep you could definitely resurface these I promise I guarantee so I took his word, and I actually offered him just like four bucks less. I was like fifty-four, just so that way it's three bucks a game, so that way it's like, you know, even. And he said that's fine. So uh, I got these shipped, and all of these games were games that I did not have in the collection, except for one. Um, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because I just—it's really nice to have GameCube game games uh, that you didn't have previously. Uh, but first up, we have the only game that I already had, Frog's Adventure, The Rescue. Let me pull this back a little bit so you can maybe see a bit better. There we go. Uh, Frogger's Adventure, The Rescue, and my copy actually was not complete, uh, so that's nice right there. So I guess you could say I have a new game. And then you could see that the disc is pretty scratched up, but most of it is fingerprints. Like, I can just wipe off the disc right now, and honestly, it'll just look... 10 times better because frankly fingertips or fingerprints are definitely not the issue like you can see right there it's already looking better sure there's some still some scratches but again if it doesn't work it's nothing that can't be resurfaced all right now we've got the the prize jewel mary kate and ashley sweet 16 complete in box woo woo then up next we have Cars. I actually love this game as a kid, uh, and it is complete. We got Shark Tail. Complete. Jimmy Neutron, Attack of the Twonkies. Complete. I think this one was actually, like, one of the few that was like, yeah, that's, like, it's pretty rough. But, again, it's mostly just dirty, so... That's uh, that's the condition of like most of the games, but again, you know, it's not too bad. Um, then we got Bionicle, complete. And up next we have Backyard Football. Uh, the front, like the front cover art, is in really rough shape, uh, but everything else is nice. And then we have Tonka Rescue Patrol. This was one of the few that was not complete. Take a look at the disc, and the disc is actually pretty nice, so that's good. Then up next we have 18-wheeler American Pro Trucker. Complete. Up next we got Rocky. Also complete in box. Now we're moving on to some good games. We got Pitfall, The Lost Expedition. Complete in box. It's like a $10, $15 game right there. Then up next we have Superman Shadow of Apocalypse. Uh, unfortunately, this one was not complete, um, which is a bit unfortunate because it's one of the better ones. And the disc is in pretty uh, dirty shape. But again, nothing that can't be resurfaced if it doesn't work. Up next we got... Spider-Man Dose, complete. Then up next we have Need for Speed Underground, complete in box. Then we got Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse, complete. And this one I think was one of the better condition ones. 
No, no, the disc is really rough. This is probably one of the ones that might need resurfacing. Because it's dirty, but there's some really deep scratches in there. So. And then up next we have X-Men Legends 2. Complete. Then we got X-Men Next Dimension. Complete in box. And then definitely the best game... We have Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Now, unfortunately, this was one of the only ones that was not complete, and the disc itself is really, really rough. Um, you can see that the front has got the little uh, like white lines in the middle, which always means not good stuff. And then the disc itself is pretty scratched up. So, again, this one might not work. However, um, you know, hopefully researchers should get this fixed. Uh, but yeah, that was it for that bundle. Really nice bundle right there for only three bucks a game. Obviously, some games are worth it more than others, um, but all of them are worth it to me personally because it just means I get to add some really good games to my GameCube co collection. All right, so we got that bundle. Now let's move on to the next unboxing. Alright, so this game, uh, it was just one game, and I only paid 10 bucks for it, uh, Yakuza 4, and I know what you're thinking, you already have it, you know, it's not worth much more than 10 bucks, it's like a $20 game complete in box, why would you pay 10 bucks? Uh, however, this bad boy is sealed, you can see right there uh, that it is factory sealed, it's got the nice lines, uh, or the cross seal I don't know how to describe it but I know for a fact it's factory sealed um, so this is definitely a, a nice investment right here for 10 bucks shipped this game goes for like $35 brand new so this will definitely be getting resold uh, so this will be just making a little bit of my money back uh, so again nothing crazy or eye-opening but definitely a really nice find for only 10 bucks all right moving on to the next find Alright, again, just one single game, and for $54, however, it's in the box. Goemon's Great Adventure is a pretty rare game, only, like, on its own, but to find it in the box is just fantastic. Now, unfortunately, there is no manual, uh, however, the game itself is in there and is really, really clean. Um... And 54 bucks may be a bit steep for one game. Uh, however, just the game alone goes for around 50 bucks. And while I didn't see any just game and box listings, uh, I saw just a box listing for 50 bucks. Um, and it was in around the same shape as this game. Uh, there's a bit of crushing. Uh, you can see right there, it's a bit crushed. And the corners definitely are uh, folded. But other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. Um, I need to find a box protector for this, um, but definitely a really nice find for only 54 bucks. Uh, this is definitely getting added to the collection for sure. Alright, moving on to the next game. Alright, so this bundle of Atari games had actually been up for quite some time. I believe it was four months, uh, and it was for 16 bucks, so $4 a game. And that's usually steep for Atari games, but these are actually some really decent games. Uh, so I figured I'd message the guy asking $12 shipped, see if he would respond, and he actually did, and countered at $14 shipped. And so that's why I ended up paying for everything, uh, which is $350 a game, or $350 a game, which is definitely a really nice price. Uh, first up, we have six telegames, Steeplechase. That's like a $10 game right there. 
Star Raiders, another $10 Atari game. Then we got Pitfall, again, another $10 game. And then definitely the best game of the bundle, we got Ghostbusters. Uh, that's like a $15 game, believe it or not. Uh, and so I was really surprised that they had only been up for a couple of months. Or it had been up for a couple of months. Um, and I was even more surprised that he actually responded after I sent him the offer. So definitely a nice bundle right there for only $14. Um, that's it with that. Let's move on to the next find. Alright, so this is going to be the final find of the day, and again, it's only one game, and for $35, uh, definitely a steep price to pay, but I could not be more happy with this game. We got Shining Force. Now, this game is really, really hard to find. Um, complete in box, this game goes for about $60. Bucks. Um, unfortunately, the manual is in really rough shape. There's some creasing you can see right there, but the card itself is in pretty decent shape. Um, and I only paid 35 bucks for this, which again is not a yard sale price, uh, but is definitely lower than eBay, that's for sure. Um, I actually really enjoyed this game. There aren't too many notable RPGs on the Sega Genesis. Um, and if there are, they're probably on the Super Nintendo as well. Uh, but this is definitely the exception. It's got the uh, Fire Emblem type gameplay where you, um, it's like a strategy RPG where you move your players around the board uh, to see who will attack first and whatnot. Uh, but definitely really, really excited to add this to the collection. I played this for a couple of hours yesterday and it's really fun, so... Uh, yeah, that is the final find of this episode. So again, the whole lesson of this video is that you don't really find, like, yard sale prices on Mercari. Only very rarely do you find stuff like that. However, you can find really, really good deals for games that are lower than eBay prices. And for good games, too, like Shining Force and Goemon and Yakuza, those are all really good games to play. Uh, and they're actually pretty expensive and sometimes hard to find, too. Um, but, yeah, definitely give the uh, website a download if you want. Uh, and just check a couple of times a day. Uh, I know this get, this app is getting more and more traction by the day. It's, it's starting to get pretty hard to find stuff. Uh, you have to be really quick on your fingers. Um, but, yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you like this series or not. This might end up replacing my Goodwill Finds videos, and I'll probably be making an update video about that, or I'll just stick an update uh, at the beginning of my Goodwill Find uh, video. So I'm sorry that there wasn't any Goodwill Finds uh, for the month of February. There just wasn't a lot. Um, but March definitely yielded some really good stuff. Uh, so that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take care.